seen you in the jeans. Stop blaming the jeans. <laughs> Say your name. Oh, see, I had her deep It's really not. I'm gonna use a camera. Go ahead, I'm not gonna use a Kimmy. Okay, I'm not gonna use a Kimmy. Okay. I think that's good. Hey guys. Hey. All right. It's like five o'clock. Oh. And we're getting ready to go to the hospital for the weight loss surgery. This is the first day of the rest of our lives. Okay. I do too. Well, anyways, we'll see you later. Bye. Oh, sorry. So we're leaving the hospital right now. Uh, he just went in. We can't go in because of this guy. They only want one visitor. Uh, it kind of sucks, but I guess that's the luck of the draw, right? Uh, I hope everything goes okay. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm outside the hospital right now about to pick up Deacon. I'm not picking up the camera because there's like uh, two police guys in front of me. Sorry, they're stuck on the lens, but I've missed him like crazy, and I cannot wait for him to get home and for us to start our weight loss journey. So I'll see you guys in a minute as soon as Pete gets out. Bye. Hey, y'all. Come Back closer. To the, the lights. Keep this up. The lights, um... You guys, look at his tummy. You might have to get over here, hon, because I can't see. Turn the light on over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the... Um, hold on, let's see if we can... Okay. Yeah, there's his belly. There's the scars. I already told him that I noticed he looks so much different. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so sit down, because okay. you're about to get your present. Okay. So here, take the camera. Come on, sit. Because this is all messed up with. Okay. Okay. Take the camera. Buddy, where did you put the present? Underneath the pillow, he said. Oh. Okay, underneath the pillow. It's still recording. Oh, okay. So, here. Okay. Alright, so, I got Deke a present that's going to help him on his weight loss journey. Oh. So, open your present. I'm going to you put the this is him Yep. There's a snowman. Oh, cool. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, this is really awesome. You like it? I love it. I just can't show too much gratitude right now because I'm in pain, but I love it. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Say hello to your little friend. Okay, hey, Snowy. <sighs> okay, Snowy. I love you. Bye-bye. He's like, okay, bye. All right, dude. Anything you want to say to the camera? Yeah, I'll just talk to you guys later. Buddy, give me my bags. Hey y'all, what's up? We're doing a car, a car vlog. I haven't done anything in a while because somebody, you know, name was mentioned, hasn't, hasn't been f doing too good, so, No, yeah. not too good. No, I get upset at Pickle at Deke because he should be taking the time to learn his computer and how to work everything. Yeah, but... I know for a fact that if something goes wrong with the computer and I ask her, she's going to yell at me. Because he doesn't know what he's doing and then even if I teach him, he's like, oh, I still don't know what to do. This is why we fight about it. All the time. All the time. Either way, I'm not going to go into that right now. So. All the time. I'm, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I got the AC on, so just deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, come out of the window because the window is, uh, yeah. And it's hot as balls here in Texas, so. It was like 160 the other night. Was it? Yeah. I mean, I'm doing good from the surgery, y'all. This is like an update, Oh, so. tell him, tell him that when you went to the, how much you weighed when you went to the dentist. I'm doing really good, y'all. I was 455, 9381. And that was what, that was as of what, last Friday? Yeah, as of last Friday. Y'all, y'all, this dentist, okay, I gotta tell you something. 
that Deke knows about me because I gotta tell you something. Her pet peeve. I cannot stand this for the damn life of me. Is when you go to the doctor's office and they tell you your appointment is there. Your appointment's at 3 o'clock, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so, girl, you have to be here by 3 o'clock. You cannot be late. You cannot be 15 minutes late or anything like that. So you're like, hauling ass. You're like, trying to do stuff or whatever. So you can get there by 3 o'clock, right? And when you get there at 3 o'clock, you sit in the waiting room for 45 fucking minutes. And you're like, what the fuck? Okay? Not to mention, the other half of that is when they do call you back into the exam room or to sit in the dental chair or whatever, you're there for another hour while the damn dentist sits in the other room uh, shooting the breeze with the nurse or somebody else. This is why I cannot go anywhere because I get pissed off because of things like this. Like, who fucking does that? I'm asking you right now, like, why does this happen? I don't understand that. Like, just, just, this is why I'm like, cut out the bullshit. You tell me to do that at 4 o'clock, I better be in that room by 4.15. I better already be out by 5 o'clock. I don't want to be no wait a minute doctors or wait a fucking hour dentist. No, just no. If you're going to do that, I'm not going to make the damn appointment. Just call me on the damn phone. Exactly. Honestly, am I am I lying? No, you're right. Am I right or am I wrong? You're right. And it was like, and then so he had to go to his dentist, and he needed fillings or whatever. And I started complaining because they made him wait, like in the waiting room for 45 minutes. I had to be somewhere about five o'clock. Which I gotta get tomorrow because tomorrow's the appointment. Well, we're going tomorrow. Let's see how long that takes. I am telling you right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start a vlog tomorrow when you're at your dentist appointment and I'm gonna see how long it takes. Cause they're like, oh no, it shouldn't even take an hour. Yeah, an hour plus the like 45 minutes that you sat in the waiting room and you know, they, they did the x-rays and everything. Do all the, that weird That time. alone was like 20 freaking minutes. Like, no, don't get me, don't get me started. <sighs> anyway. Anyway, but yeah, sometimes, but you know, I'm, I'm going to say something about me and, and Harley's, you know, yeah, sometimes we argue, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. Yeah, it used to be really bad. It used to be really bad, like, we would be at each other's throats almost every freaking week. Oh, I would just like to say one last thing. Look at my freaking face. This is because my freaking mask makes me sweat, and it's making me break out again. Like, just, I'm just, that's the last thing. Now you can, like, go over there. Yeah, anyway. So, we're at CVS Pharmacy because I guess to get my medicine. Apparently, I got three medicines that I didn't even know about, so. Yeah. They, they call, they send me a message on my phone, like, oh, your prescriptions are ready. I'm like, I didn't even know I had prescriptions what? ready. Y'all, the things that I'm seeing people be doing up in this fucking. I was like, I didn't even know my prescriptions be ready, so I'm going to shut this off, and I'll come back in a little bit. Bye. Yeah. Trying to do testing. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. This so, is some craziness. So, you know, um, this whole, like, coronavirus, you know how they're opening everything again right now? Uh-huh. Um, that we got, uh, we had a rise in cases to 200 cases a day. And they're still reopening everything. You know how much that's going to travel? Because they, uh, the CDC was saying now that this is just the first wave and now that everything's reopening we're gonna get the second wave and it's gonna be even it's gonna even be longer and we might have to shut down again so i was like what was the point of even opening then it's because trump is freaking stupid don't yeah i said it at me don't forget to to, uh, to uh promote your tupperware party oh yeah i have my tupperware party today at three o'clock uh three o'clock texas time one o'clock la time i'll post the link on my facebook or whatever we're gonna be doing some live. We're gonna do live stream and podcast while we're actually watching it. Um, and so we'll do one time thing, and, and if it goes well, we might do it again. We don't yeah, know yet. We might go. You know, Rachel. You, you know, Rachel bought some uh, Tupperware. Did she? Yeah, she did. Okay. So. Oh. Uh, just in case. Hi, Rachel. Yeah. Hi. 
Anyway. Just in case you watch this, you probably don't, which is okay, oh, but no, either way. Okay, we said hi. Um, yeah, so we're just driving and doing stuff like that. It's a lot of craziness though. Sorry, characters. I don't know what this car is doing. Like all these and, cars you know, here. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Like all these cars here, I swear, like you'd be like, what are they doing? That's, That's a nice Cadillac. Car. That's a yeah. nice car. But it's also got stuff in the back though. Look at it. Oh yeah. They probably like scratched something when they were like pulling out or something somewhere. But like, dude, that was the second time today that I've seen cars doing weird shit. Mm -hmm. Honestly. So, my dad was telling me yesterday, or the other night, when he called me that his apartment is closing because there's so many cases and they're going to close for three weeks so they could maintain and clean everything. But, here's the thing, see? Remember, remember how I was telling you when this whole thing started, right? Uh-huh. And then everyone was talking about coronavirus and they were talking about how China completely shut down or whatever. Uh-huh. Everything that was coming out in the beginning was saying, you know, stay-at-home orders are going to come out, this is what they're doing, make sure you have food enough for two weeks because they were going to shut down the whole city. Yeah. Everything, including the grocery stores or whatever. And they didn't do that. They didn't do that here. Okay. And then people started hoarding toilet paper. Yeah, well, then everyone started hoarding toilet paper and like... Lysol or whatever, and I was like, I may not be a clean or a neat freak, but let me tell you something. I'm not going to be buying a shit ton of Lysol or whatever. I was like, when bleach, I know for a fact, will kill everything. Yeah. So I have plenty of bleach, so I'm not worried about that. And I'm not worried about sickness or whatever, because I was like, dude, it's... It's inevitable for everyone in the same house to get the same sickness. And so I don't even care. Plus, I got my flu shot. I got my flu shot this year. So I wasn't even And here's your random it. question for Lysol, okay? Mm -hmm. If you if you buy Lysol, it says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Whoa. What about the other 1%? Um, bleach kills all germs. Bleach what? is the stuff... But listen, bleach is the stuff that they use to clean up blood and stuff in the OR at the hospitals. Yeah, I know. So, bleach obviously must be doing something right. I mean, I'm just saying. All I know is my surgery was well, and I liked it, and Dr. Wright I can already see the changes, like, he doesn't think that, he doesn't believe it, but like, I can already see a difference. Yeah, and, and Dr. Wright is, is amazing, he's an amazing Maybe doctor. So, he was supposed to call me yesterday because I was like, yesterday's Saturday, and I think No, like, Monday, Monday. I was like, why didn't it come out Saturday? But yeah, but I can already see the difference on how you look. You look so much different. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. But yeah, Dr. Wright's amazing. And listen, I'm, I'm going to say this to anyone, to anyone who might watch or, you know, might have questions. If you're in Texas and you want it and you're considering the weight loss surgery, go to South Texas Surgeons. They will take care of you. Mm-hmm. Ask for Dr. Wright specifically. Consult your doctor first. We're not doctors. We're not medical professionals. Yeah. Consult your doctor first before. Yeah, to see if it's okay for you, because if you're considering it, you might because want to consult so your much, doctor. Because there's so much that has to go into it before you get the surgery, and then there's so much afterwards. Like, for example, um, Deke had to he had to get a psyche valve. He had to be with a nutritionist for six months. He had to change the way he was eating. And I haven't freaking left either. <laughs> well, hold on. I'll get to that in a second. Um, he had to see he had to see the dietitian for six months. He had to see the dietitian for six months before he could get the surgery. And then the last thing was to get a psych a psych eval. And then on top of that, he had to get like EKGs and like a liver function thing. A like gallstone? A, yeah, like a gallstone thing or whatever it was. And all this. So he had so much to do before they did the surgery. And then the coronavirus happened. So he had to wait a month before they did the surgery. Yeah. But Dr. Wright was ready, though. He Dr. Was, he Dr. Was Wright was ready. ready. And he, I told him, I said, can we wait? He goes, no. He said, I want to do this now. And he was nice about it. He goes, no. He said, I want to do this now. He said, because 
with this whole pandemic, he goes, we might not get a chance to do it. And I said, okay, fine. Yeah. So the week I was going to do it, they basically know that they were sh uh, holding the all surgeries. Yeah. And then they called me and said, no, they're like, you got to wait. And I said, okay, fine. Yeah. And so, yeah. Well, then, okay, so then, uh, so Dee got the Duodeno switch, right? So basically what they do is they make five small incisions on your tummy or whatever, and you do that. So I was all kind of worried that, you know, when they say small, they mean like medical small, which is like that bit, right? But no, they're like really small, and um, he didn't have any bleeding or anything that I saw. Um, and it's, External or internal? Yeah, external or internal, and the scars are already closed. They look like scabs. Are they still scabbed or no? Yeah, kind of. Or are they scars now? Those are from Gomer's scars. Yeah, um, I was telling, I was telling, like, we didn't see them opening or anything, and I was telling him that when he speaks to his doctor to talk to, um, ask him if he could start putting lotion over it, you know, so he could smooth out that skin or whatever. And he said it was okay, right? Yeah, he said, he said, as long as it's dried out, he said it should be dried out by now. And I was like, yeah, I was like, cute. And so, yeah. Oh shit, I just saw a nice ass motorcycle. What is going on here? Harley, Harley knows. Hello, Harleys. Wait, what not, the? not okay. this Harley, not this Harley. What is going on? Look at all these people. I don't know, but look at those bikes. How are know. they? Like, honestly, move. What in the fuck? I think it's some kind of traffic work. It, it's always some craziness in Texas. There's look at this. There's always some bullshit. There's always some This bullshit. is Texas traffic for y'all. Who the hell? Um, no, get out! Who are these people? It's like some kind of car show. Look at look at the cars. They look the same. Yeah. You're not even looking. You're you got the camera pointing on me. Look at them. What is going on? Go go already! Hurry up! Go try to let all those cars out first. Well, who are these people? I don't. Why am I, cops? Am right? I over there? there? I don't know who they are. There should be cops right there. Like that's that's some bullshit. You want to tell me about the traffic light that we sat at for like almost four oh four my minutes? God. We sat at that traffic light for four freaking minutes, just waiting. I need to get over. But one time I was going to the dentist, like yeah, like how you say earlier. Friday when you were like going we to were, the dentist. We were sitting at the traffic light for almost four minutes. Yeah. It was dinner almost four minutes. So I was like, what the like hell? four minutes and he never moved. And I kept, I was trying to get the car to move up in front of us. But he was just all happy-go-lucky, doing whatever the hell he wanted. But uh, anyway. D look at that! Oh, so, oh my god. I need, to, I need to get the fuck out of the car. <coughs> I cannot with these people right now in Texas driving. I cannot. I'm just, I'm just going to be over here watch. I cannot. The truck was in the lane to go on the highway, and then he like freaking went all the way over the double ends of the, the line that you're not supposed to go through, and then nearly hit another car to get on to get on the other side. I'm like, are you? Oh, I was like, I'm gonna be over here. I'm gonna be over here. I can't. I cannot today. This is some craziness. All I know is tapping that out. I'm tapping it out. All I know is it's some craziness, and yeah. I just, I cannot today with these people. I cannot. Anyway, back to what I was saying. If, if you're considering weight loss surgery, yeah. talk to your primary care doctor first. And see what, what they recommend. If they recommend the surgery, and you're in Texas, go to South Texas Surgeons. I guarantee you they will take care of you. I yeah. guarantee it. I guarantee it. And they have a whole bunch of protocols or whatever. But not only that, but I think I think it's I think that you should know that when you do go into a weight loss surgery, it's I through through South Texas surgeons is not like okay tomorrow you just schedule tomorrow and whatever. No, it doesn't work like that. You need to get spend the extra money, okay? Spend the extra three hundred dollars and get the dietitian and do the one-on-ones and everything like that because um that to me i think helped Deke a lot and the support that's there and everything like that he still sees her 
um, all the time. Against my will, I say, I say my life over to her, literally. I'm just kidding. Emily, I know you watch. I'm just kidding. She's I'm just really kidding. really nice. And, you know, she, she gives him food advice and food tips and things like that. And, and she's going to have my ass if she knew that I was eating anything that I shouldn't be. So, yeah. yeah. And she'll, uh... They do the, like, phone visits and things like that, and I think that's really good because I've heard a lot of people saying that, you know, they didn't get any support for after their weight loss surgery, and I'm like, where did you have your surgery? Yeah. Like, you've got to be having your support because you, because it's not just about, it's not just about weight loss surgeries, but, like, you also have to, like, change everything that you eat and change your whole life and everything like that. Yeah, and that's why when I, when I saw the, uh, psychiatrist that was in, in office, it's yeah. like, I was like, you know, was like, that helped me a lot. Not to mention, I have a counselor that I can see too, but yes. it's not the same thing. Yeah. No offense. Mm -mm. All I know is it was it this one or was it the other one that we saw it at? It was this, this one, I think. Was it? We're about to go look right now because I saw this TV stand, this wooden... I think it was at the other one because it was at the time that that whole bullshit happened, remember? We're about to go look right now because I think it was over here. Whatever. We're about to go like that. I saw this TV stand that I really liked. That was nice. Um, that you can mount your TV. It has like the TV mount and then it has like drawers and like things to put your stuff in. And I was like, huh, interesting. That'd be nice to finally have a TV stand and not um, not have the TV and everything sitting on a freaking coffee table. Yeah. So we're going to go see if they have it now. Yeah. Um, that's so, about it. Yes. I think we're gonna walk around Walmart and see what's going on. Maybe I'll run somebody over again over here. Maybe. Did you? Did I grab my wallet from the thing? I don't, think, I don't remember. I don't know if I grabbed it. Anyway. Alright, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye. Bye. You guys, I want to show you something. Okay, I want you to see this. Me? As a musical conductor. Yeah. See it with my bit. See with my wig and everything. And that, that's Harley right there next to me. You see it? You see it? Let me see. That's me as a musical conductor right there. Oh yeah, pretty much. And that's me with the red hair. Okay, bye.